Hello everyone, welcome to the Computer Networks Practical Series. In this particular session, we study about the packet capture and header analysis by Wireshark. So we will do with respect to TCP and IP. We can also do for UDP using the same concept. So before diving into this, we must uh, first know the UDP packet format. So this is the UDP packet format. It has a header and the data. So header is of 8 bytes. It contains information such as the source port number, the destination port number, the total length, as well as the checksum. So uh, we, we, we can read this information from that packet capturing. Then uh, regarding the TCP segment format, it also has uh, the header as well as data. So when we capture the TCP, uh, when we capture the packet and uh, get the header information, it gives us the source, source port address, the destination port address, the sequence number, the acknowledgement number, then the header length, there are some reserved bits and these are six are the flags, then window size, etc. These are the information which we get from the TCP segment. This is the information of the header of the TCP segment. Then regarding the IP packet format, these are the information which are in the IP header. So the it contains the version, the IP header length, okay, then uh, this is the types of services, the total length, then the identification, the flags, the fragmentation offset, the time to TTS, time to live, the protocol, the source address, the destination address and some options. So this 20 bytes are the compulsory, it will be there and apart from that, the header can go up to 60 bytes. So this is the IP packet format. So we must know when uh, what the actual header contains. Now we will be using the Wireshark software to do the packet analysis. So let us first see how we can download this particular software then we will do the analysis. So first of all uh, we have to start the browser ok I will just type Wireshark here. So here we get this Wireshark.org I just click on this and when you click on this it, it gives an option download Wireshark. Now this is a free software and it gives us the option so based on what operating system and which system we are using. So I am using this. So I've already installed. So you just install. You just click here, and then we can just follow the installation uh, procedure, and we can get it installed. So this is where we can get the software installed. After installing the software, we can start it. Wireshark. So this is Wireshark. I'll just click here. So here we are getting this. So these are the interfaces which are available. So in my case, I I am using internet connection at this Ethernet other interface are also available we can also perform this practical on virtual machines but I am using this so I can just double click on this Ethernet as soon as we double click we get this all the packets you can start we just starting from uh, as you can see it's starting from 1 2 3 so packet number 1 2 3 4 okay these are the packets which are shared and here these are the protocols okay so uh, we are, we, we, are, we are unable to see the TCP protocol so what we can do is we can just go to the browser and uh, just click on any of the videos we can start the video and we can ca have any uh, website we can open up the website and what we can do is we can stop it and here capture uh, and in options we can just click on options and here we can type TCP okay sorry TCP okay so I'll just start it continue without saving and here we can see the it will show the TCP packets as you can see this is the TCP packet so I'll just click on this particular TCP okay. double click on this so we get this information now here this is the IP protocol okay, if I if I click on this IP I can get the information about the IP header so here you can see the source address the this is the destination address then the header length the version is 4 and the different surface uh, services differentiated services field is also shown then we have the identification the flags and all this information it is it is showing this information all these things which are there in the ip header then if you want to study the tcp so i just click on tcp so it is showing the source port address 443 the destination port is 63020 63020 and so on the sequence number the sequence number raw then the, the acknowledgement number then the flags the window size and so on so we this is how we can study the various uh, we can do the analysis of packet by using the wireshark so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching